So let me just reword this one real quick because I pressed stop instead of play. So we factored this denominator and then we noticed they had this factor in common and this one's different. So that's the LCD over one, LCD over one. Both factors cancel here. Y minus six cancels here. So we're left with 28Y cubed in purple there and then 4y squared times y plus 5 in purple here. Then we reduced 28 and 4 by 4, so we got 1 and 7. We reduced y squared and y cubed by y squared, so all y squareds are gone here. If we take out 2 here, we still have 1 left. So we're left with 7y in the numerator and then y plus 5 in the denominator. And since it's multiplied by 1, we don't need the parentheses, right? Okay, sorry I had to go over that again, but we weren't recording. Okay, so here, same thing. I don't have all fractions, but I can make them real quick, right? Ta-da, they're yeah, fractions, right? <laughs> Good. So then what is the LCD here then? Of what? Of the whole thing, of every single denominator you see. What is the common denominator? W. Yes, sir. Five so w. multiply 5w here, 5w over 1 here, but don't forget to do wow. it to every term, right? All four terms have to get multiplied by that 5w over 1. Now, you only have ones down here, so right. nothing is going to reduce. And you only have ones down here, so nothing's going to reduce. But over here, these will reduce, yep. right? So we're left with 15W mm -hmm. minus 1. Mm -hmm. And here? Uh, 10W mm -hmm. plus 1. Can this be factored or this? Uh, yep. You can take out 5 or go, uh, five or go to both of them. Remember, you have to factor them individually. Oh, oh you're saying that right there first. Can the 15W right. minus 1 Can factor? we factor that? No. no. And can we factor this? No. Then we cannot reduce. All right, copy that. That's Only if they factor, you can reduce the factors, right? But this doesn't factor, so it's stuck because they're not exactly the same. What was the common denominator for X this plus one? Eight. Uh huh. This man, X plus eight. Mm -hmm. So be careful here. What are you left with at the top? have left at the bottom. At the bottom you're going to have 1 mm -hmm. plus uh, cancel 1, 1, 1 and it's going to be x plus 8. Mm -hmm. Don't parentheses. cancel the ones. Just leave them alone. Okay, okay. It's or you said x plus 8 in parentheses. Yeah, eight that parentheses. you can do. Yes. yes. If you don't remember to put those parentheses and this is a minus, oh, yeah, you're stuck. it'll mess you up. It'll mess you up. Yeah. Okay? So okay. make sure that as long as you remember that you put that in parentheses, then you're good. Normally what I do is if there are already ones, I don't reduce and I just leave this times that. And okay. so I would have actually written the one, one in there. One, yeah. And yeah. if it were a minus, that would make me remember, oh, I got to distribute a negative one. Negative the okay. okay. But that's as long as you have the parentheses there, it's okay. But now here, remember, I keep telling you, do the parentheses need to be there or not? 
do the parentheses need, do I need extra parentheses around this 7 and this plus x? Uh, no. no, because that 7 was never multiplied by anything, uh, right? It no. was just the x that was multiplied by this. Right. So you really have to identify the differences there, right? Now here, I have to multiply it out because there's no way I can try to simplify <laughs> this unless it's actually just a binomial and a binomial and then I can see if I can factor it. So hold on. But right now you have two terms still. Can you just cross out the x plus 8? No, because that x plus 8 is not, it is a factor of this term. It is not a factor of the whole numerator. Oh, okay. Copy. You see what I mean? Yep, yep, yep. And I cannot order. determine what the factors of the whole numerator it's, it's are seven was part of that. until I have everything. Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this positive x and I'm going to distribute it to see what we have now. So x squared plus 8x. Positive x squared and positive 8x. At the bottom, I would take like this positive 1 and distribute that, right? So here I get 1 plus x plus 8. Now, at the bottom, I have x plus 9 if I combine my numbers. Mm -hmm. At the top, I want to write that in the correct order. So I'm going to put x squared plus 8x plus 7. Now, can the top be factored? Yeah. Mm-hmm. X plus seven and X plus one. Mm-hmm. And you have to do this because now, oops, I've just rent my finger. But now that you have a giant factor and a giant factor for the whole numerator, now is where you would look to see if something can cancel or reduce, right? Mm -hmm. But I have a seven and a one and a nine. They're not so going to reduce with each other, stay, right? Like mm-hmm. But had that been a 9 at the very beginning, right? Yeah. Not a 9. Yeah, a 9. Yeah. Maybe a minus 9. Then I would have been able to reduce, and I would have been able to factor it, and there probably would have been a 9 in there, and it might have been able to cancel it. Okay? So just keep that in mind, because sometimes it happens, and sometimes it doesn't. So I can type this in the calculators, in the calculator, in the uh, Alex, and it should accept this. If it doesn't accept this, then leave it in the form before you factored it. Since it didn't reduce, either one of those two things are the same thing, right? Sometimes Alex can get um, picky on whether it likes the factored version or the not factored version, okay? And the guy that just came in here, he was real helpful last semester because he would be like two modules ahead of everybody and he would let me know, oh, by the way, they're not going to like it like that. <laughs> they want it like this. And I'd be like, okay, thanks. But now I don't remember because that was the whole semester ago. So more, same things, though. These are just monomials, so we don't have to factor anything. But what would be the LCD on this one? 9x squared. You got it. So I'm going to do that to everybody. So then this reduces with that. This reduces with one of those. That reduces with that. And that guy wipes that guy out. So. Should I have 3 plus x squared? Almost. The 9 reduced, but not this x squared. Oh, OK. So we still have 3x squared okay. plus the 9 and the x, yep. Okay, plus 9x, okay, I got you. Down here, the 9's went away, but I but still they, have so x squared. X squared. Minus? Oops, yep. Okay. And then got the squared, there. but a 9. nine. Okay. And so then here, we have to factor this to see if it'll reduce. So what can I factor from these two? 3x. Yep. And that gives me what? X plus 3. Mm -hmm. How do you factor the denominator? X plus 3 and X minus 3. Mm -hmm. And so can this one reduce? Yeah, you can take X plus 3 out. Mm -hmm. You're going to have 3X over the top and X minus 9 is the bottom. Yeah, you got it. This problem has two things that I have to fix before I can start. Is that a hint to us? Mm -hmm. What are those two things?
things that I have to fix here. Uh, your first thing, you're going to have to take the 4X and brush it down. Yeah, so I have to factor my denominators. Factor uh -huh. What else do I need to do to fix it? You have to uh, distribute that negative 1. No, no, no. That's not till later. Okay. Well, Just so I can rewrite this to get it set up to go with the LCDs. Write everything over <laughs> 1. Over one, right exactly. Over you one? got it, you got it. Okay, so this would be one over one. Actually, I don't want to use red. Yes, sir, come on in. Yes, sir. So you said to break that down. What is it? Four times x minus three? Yes, ma'am. And then two over one. Yeah. Did you want to tell me something? What do you want to tell me? Come over here. I'm going to pause it. Now that it's set up, try that one. Huh? You broke it down. You got what you needed. So now... What's the LCD? The LCD is going to be uh, 4X minus 3. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Let's get back to folks. I'm sorry. I should have set up, y'all. No, you're okay. What's up, man? You been okay, man? You been kind of quiet. What's up? What's up? I'm tired, man. Okay, bro. I'm going to look up at 6 3. So these guys will knock out, out that uh, only this, this guy will cancel, cancel out. out. So okay. I'm gonna you multiply the numbers. Go ahead. Four x minus three. Four times x minus three. three. Yeah, well, I might as well say. It. Hold uh -huh. on. Why can't we? Yeah, you said don't write it like that, did you? Okay, so then minus mm -hmm. x minus six is left. Can I just write it like that? No, I don't want you writing it like that. Because you're doing you're minus the whole, the whole thing, thing right? Thing, yeah. So you have to tell me okay, okay, I'm minusing okay, that okay, whole copy. thing. Three. Otherwise, it just looks like you're minusing like X. Minus an X. Copy that. Okay. okay, I'll start saying that. Yes, ma'am. And the bottom, then here, at the, what at do we the have? Bottom, you're going to have 8 times X minus 3 mm -hmm. plus 8. Uh -huh. Yeah. And yeah. no other factor, right? No other factor, ma'am. Okay. So now we have to simplify this stuff. So now you can, you can break the 8 over 4, well, mm -hmm. 4 and 8 down, so that's... Fine. No, you cannot. Remember, it has to be all factored, and it's not factored because I have this big fat minus sign okay, in the middle. That. So the next thing you're going to do is say 4x minus 12, mm -hmm. and then minus x minus 6. Not minus plus, 6, plus 6. Plus plus 6. six. Negative and a negative, negative right? And At the bottom? Now you're going to have 8x. Minus 24 plus 8. Mm -hmm. So that's 3x minus 6. Hold on, where you at? Yeah, 3x minus 6. And then you're going to have 8x minus 16. Mm -hmm. Can you factor those? Yes, yeah, so you're going to say 3 and then x minus 2. Mm -hmm. And then you can say 8 mm -hmm. and x minus 2. Mm -hmm. Cancel the x minus 2, you're going to have 3 x. You got it. Mm -hmm. That was a big one, right? A lot of stuff going on. She's a good teacher, bro. Like, you ought to get like teacher of the year. You don't know how many people talk about you around here. Nobody nominates me. <laughs> but I think I need a, like a, a colleague to nominate me. You but know, I think they have, me. the student government has like a student's choice. My, my neighbor, whose office is right next to me, oh. in the little hall where the offices are at, okay. he got that award like a few years back. But yeah, he got... I mean, I mean, I'll just tell you, everybody always, hey, Miss Lopez teaching me this. Just like you helping the lady in the lab, in the math world. Mm -hmm. What lady in the math world? Uh, she said you should... So, uh, LCD over one, LCD over one. These cancel, you end up with this. These cancel, you end up with these two. These cancel, you end up with negative three times u minus eight. Distribute, distribute here, distribute there. Combine your like terms, factor out the six, factor out the six, six is cancel, end up with this. What is the LCD downstairs? X squared Y. Yes, higher powers, good.
So then 1x cancels y here. Cancels the y, y, cancels y and both x's, both x's cancel. cancel out. So what do we have in the top now? What is that? Five, is that one x left? Well, five and an x, yeah. Yeah, five x uh -huh. plus x squared. Mm -hmm. And then at the bottom you have y squared, what's that, x? You got y, y, okay, that's y plus, plus two x squared. Two x squared. Now, even though the top can factor, the bottom, bottom cannot. Can. Yeah, so can. I know I'm not going to be able to cancel anything because there's not even any y's up there, are there? Right. So you're just throwing in extra letters and seeing if you can still follow the same rules. Okay, finally, let me stop the video here because we're going to jump into equations. So this one's a short.